Okay, next thing we're looking at is setting up your eEdge website. If you have not um, been using the old uh, website, I would highly, highly recommend using the eEdge website. It is a much better lead capture website and much better at SEO and being found on Google. So, from your My KW page, go back to the home page. All you're going to do is right next to My Marketing is hit the plus sign and then hit Manage your eEdge website. You click that, that will bring you into the admin area of your website. So there's some sections of the website right here, some uh, very important, some less important, and some are only for pro if you have pro. I'm just going to go through the stuff without pro. Um, first you want to make sure all of this information is correct. So if you need to change anything on here, all you would do is hit edit. And you can view your website at any time. So when you make a change, click view your website and make sure that that change was made so you can see that information on this website. Next one is titles and descriptions. This is actually a very important page. What you want to do on this, so is your, um, with Google, so if I go to my home page, and I've got some descriptions in here. So this is the title of my page, and that's the description of my page. The title is something Google um, looks at of, of your page. So if I actually would uh, open up my page, And then that Byron Holmes, that's what shows up in the tab up here. And that's what is right here. Again, that's something that Google looks at. So that's something you're going to want to be specific to your area of real estate. And for each one of your pages, you get to give the title of that page. So when you go to the Find a Home page, you can change what it says in there. You want to make it specific to your area and something that Google may find. So you want to do that for each one of those pages. Your main text. So the main text, again, this is just going to be what shows up right here. And I have just left it with the generic. Um, I did add a mobile search. So this is an advanced tip that I used. Um, being that you don't get a mobile site unless you have Pro. If you have Pro, your site will automatically convert to a mobile site when they come onto it with a mobile phone or a pad. So what I did is I added this button that actually goes to it. And what it does is your current e-agency um, IDX URL again it's a little bit advanced maybe you can talk to a, a tech person in your office but your current IDX for your e-agency website actually automatically converts to a mobile so what I did is I put this image in here and then I linked it to that so that way they can click that and then they can search mobily um, it's just a much more user-friendly device for mobile cell text again this is what's going to show up on your cell page right on this so you can edit that text as well and if we go back, um, site images, you definitely want to take a look at your site images. There's two images that you're going to take a look at. One is this image that shows up here, and then your logo image up on top. So you can edit each one of those. So you can edit your banner, which is this, and which is kind of nice when you hit edit. You can type in maybe your specific area. So if I type in Minneapolis, it will pull pictures from Minneapolis. And if I just type in river now it's going to pull photos that have a river in it so you can get that information you can just type in house you can get whatever you need um, for that image to fit that spot and then logos you can grab these as well just simply click on the one that you want to have so I click on that I hit save if I refresh it may take a second here just because of my cookies for it to actually go into there as the new logo We'll see if it actually goes in here, but it will eventually go. There it is. There's my new logo then. I'll let that fully load because that should. There we go. So that's the new look. And then um, search widgets, that's a pro option. Alerts is something very key that you're going to want to set up. Make sure that you, have, if somebody's on your website, you want to be instantly alerted. That is crucial that you get that notification instantly. The response time on leads is very, very important. So you want to have a text message set up and an email that comes right to your phone. So you can add those just by clicking the add button here. Okay, next one, I'm not going to actually go into doing this, but this is an extremely, extremely important step that you can do to your website, and that is the community served. If you look on my website here, there's these community served on the left-hand side of your website. This stuff drives a ton of SEO to your website, so a ton of search engine optimization, which is, again, basically like Google juice, giving you a lot of power to be found on Google, adding them. They're very, very easy, and on here, there is a step um, called add communities to your website so I recommend you going to that because it gives a more detail um, on how to set those things up 
So definitely, definitely take care of that. And then MLS administration. This is where you add your IDX to your website. So you would start an application if you don't have it. And then you're going to go in and select your MLS and then submit it. And then you'll be able to click on the instructions to go through and get that um, to get that application approved. And what IDX is the ability for you to show all of your um, MLS's listings for your area on your website. So your website has other brokerages' websites um, listings on it. So you want to make sure that you have that set up as well, and that you are showing those other listings. That is it on this section here. Again, just um, you guys can pause that however you need to. Go back. Just make sure you get all of those things set up. We want to make sure that your foundation is 100% set up with your with your um, eEdge website.